Hi Hello Fire Kids, Miss Cossio here again. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, today I'm going to be making a Nadia Lim recipe and it's called Carrot and Cranberry Date Loaf. Um, again, if you don't like cranberries, or maybe you don't have any, um, you could change some of the ingredients. So what I've got here, and I'll, um, I'll read them out to you, I've got two cups, I've grated some carrot. So two cups of carrot, I know, weird right, but carrot makes cakes and loaves really moist and yummy. And I promise you, you don't taste the carrot. Um, I have got three quarters of a cup of cranberries. Um, if you don't like cranberries or you don't have them, you could use sultanas, raisins, currants. I have got one large banana, and it's been mashed up with pork. Now I have used um, a third of a cup of honey. I'll put the uh, recipe up so you can have a look. They say you can use maple syrup if you want. Um, I've just used honey. I had some old kind of honey that was looking a bit crystallized, so it's perfect. Let's cook with it. Um, I've got half a cup of water. I've got one egg that I've just quickly, lightly beaten up. I've got a cup of dates. And I've got 50 grams of butter. So I'm all ready to go. So I've washed my hands, put my apron on, and I've turned the oven to 172 degrees Celsius. Make sure your tray's in the middle of the oven. And then the next thing we do before we start is we get a loaf tin. So it's just a tin that looks like that. And I have lined it with baking paper. So I like to line the ends as well. So I use a bit of oil and I stick two pieces of paper to the ends. Great, so that's your loaf tin. Let's make a start. Right, so I've got both my dates and my water. I've put them in the in a pot on the stove. As you can see, just the water and the dates, and I'm gonna boil them up. So I'm gonna put it on a reasonable high heat, and I'm gonna boil them up, and we're gonna let them boil for five minutes, okay? All right, so I've got my dates here, and I'm just gonna give them a light stir. And we're going to keep giving them an occasional stir and we're going to boil it until the water's pretty much all evaporated and the dates have gone all mushy. Alright, so there's my dates. There's pretty much no water left um, and it didn't actually take five minutes when it was boiling. So you've got to really watch it and stir it so that you don't end up with it burning. And I've taken it off the heat and now I'm actually going to put in one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. So there's one and I'm going to give it a stir and it's probably going to foam up a little bit. Yeah, so it's gone a little bit foamy. Give it a good stir and we'll be on to our next step. So I've added my baking soda, now I'm going to put my butter in and I'm going to put the honey. So I'm just going to tip that in and then I'll use a spatula to get it all out so we're not wasting any honey. And um, I'm also going to do one teaspoon of vanilla essence. So here we go. One teaspoon of vanilla essence. Pour it carefully. If you think you might struggle and tip too much in, you can always ask your mum or your dad to help you. And then we're just going to stir that gently until the butter's melted. So we can put that back on the heat, um, just a very low heat, and um, give it a stir until the butter is all melted and the honey is all nicely mixed in and melted. Okay, so the butter's all nicely melted and now we're just going to take it off the heat, turn it off, and we're gonna add in the carrot. So we tip it in. You need a pretty decent sized pot. This is actually the biggest pot that I've got. So hopefully it will fit it all. Alright, so we've got all the carrot, so we'll give that a little mix. Well, the colour is awesome. But orange is my favourite colour. Uh, banana. Nicely mashed nani. And then we'll do give that a bit of a mix. And next, I think. Give it a good scrape out. This is where I really like to get a 
uh, spatula. Love spatulas. I've always got heaps of them. Always ready to use. And we'll give that a little mix. And we'll put our cranberries in as well at the same time. Give it a good mix. Obviously you don't want to put your egg in when it's too hot. So when you're melting the butter, just a very low heat, just till the butter's melted. You could even melt your butter in the microwave first and put it in. Right, so now I've given that a really good mix. Can you see how that looks? It's so beautiful. It's this lovely mixture of carrots and cranberries and bananas and honey and butter. I already know it's going to taste delicious. So now I've transferred my pot just to my bench. My bench is, is fine with warm things and it's not actually too warm. And I've got a, sif, a sieve um, rather than my usual sifter. And I'm just going to sit it in the top of the pot. Um, I've got one and a half cups of flour. Now I use gluten-free flour. I use a gluten-free pre-mixed baking mix. So I've actually got two here because I've used up this one and then I've got this one. You can just use normal flour or you can use gluten-free. Uh, and so I'm going to pop them in this so One, two, just give that a little tap. And then I'm going to do a teaspoon of mixed spice. So we'll pop that in. left in my mixed spice. Ooh. I have to, it's pretty much what's left in there. That's okay. I'll have to get some more, won't I? So give it a tap, use it all up. Great. So when it's in a sieve sitting on there, I like to use a spoon. It just makes circular motions. You can just lift it up just so that it doesn't touch the um, wet mixture in the bottom. And just go around like that. Give it a little tap. There we go. And that's all sifted in. And then um, I'm just going to use my spatula and I'm just going to really gently fold that flour through. So I go round and then I flip the um, spatula over, around, flip spatula over. So you don't really want to over mix this, just super light. Okay. And I'll just hold that up to the camera so you can hopefully see. Um, it's a lovely um, mix. There's a few tiny lumps of flour, don't worry about that. Don't over mix, it's better. Um, just to put it in as is, as and it'll be awesome. So now I'm going to put this mixture into the loaf pan that I've already prepared and just going to tip it all out there. Looks, it smells so good. Can't wait to have this with a cup of tea this afternoon. And I'm sure your families will love Right, and then just really gently um, really gently just pushing it into the corners um, and make sure that the top is kind of pretty much even again being careful not to over mix it because we do want it to be nice and um, light right, it's going to go in the oven for an hour at 170 and then um, probably about 50 minutes I'll check it and um, we'll put a skewer into it and see if that comes out clean and if it does it'll be ready.